Nowadays, many people believe that those with blue or other non-brown eyes are not of African ancestry and that if they are, they must be wearing colored contact lenses. Just to let you know, Africans also have blue eyes for a variety of reasons, they are not just a characteristic of Asians or Europeans. Blue is the second most common eye color globally, with an estimated 8 to 10 percent of people having blue eyes. Most of these people are of European descent. As already said, black people can also be born with blue eyes even though it's rare. Early research from the University of Copenhagen studied 800 men and women from several countries with blue eyes. The team found that all the participants have the same DNA sequence for blue eyes thanks to a genetic mutation that took place an estimated 10,000 years ago. There is a genetic code that creates melanin called OCA2. Melanin is the pigment that gives the skin, eyes, and hair their coloration. An increase in melanin production has been linked to a genetic mutation, according to researchers. Due to the lack of melanin, blue eyes are instead generated instead of brown ones. Note this, there are some exceptions, as health conditions such as Vardenberg syndrome and ocular albinism that can affect pigmentation and as many as six different eye colors. It is important to highlight that blue eyes are not wicked in Africans as some believe. Let us keep appreciating and accepting our differences. Enjoy the rest of the video looking at those black beauties with blue eyes. So growing up in Barbados, it was it was scary because I always had eyes on me, you know. And it's it's you know I I know why they they look, but sometimes obviously I like I forget, you know, that I actually have blue eyes. You know, I just like walk along, and then until I get a reminder or like weird stares or like look at that girl eyes, you know, or something. Then I was like, oh shit, yeah, I forgot about these eyes. But um, growing up in Barbados was. It was it was scary and it was a bit depressing for me at the same time because there was not another person like me. So all the pressure was always well there is actually like one other girl. Okay. But she's a bit like hair impaired and you know, like it's, it's it was different. And um I had a lot of like negativity but at the same time there was a lot of positivity in it. So I tried to like hold on to the positiveness of things, you know, like a lot of people see it like really beauty, a lot of just a lot of people seeing it as a curse. I mean my I my you know, me myself I seen it as a curse when I was yeah, younger. I, I see it as very yeah. <laughs> but really yeah, thank you. Um but you know, at times I just wanted to like just hide on a rock and don't come out, you know what I mean? Like my first day at um secondary school I remember walking, well, I remember in the bus and everyone was just staring at me from the moment I got out. I was like, all right then. Got into school and I literally, I remember like everyone stopped when I came through the gate, like everyone stopped or like went on slow motion or some shit. And I was like, what the hell? And everyone is staring, happy their friends. And it was like, for me, I was very scared. You know, I'm just entering secondary school and like people, you know. So I actually asked my mom if I could stay home and I stayed home probably for the whole term. <laughs> for real? Yeah, I was that, yeah. But I mean, before I didn't, you know, like I obviously now I embrace it a bit more because it's part of me. But when you're younger, you don't really understand, you know, like especially when people pick out your differences, you they bully to, you, you about it. And point, yeah, so it's, exactly. You're not trying to be different by yeah. But yeah, well, that must be pretty crazy. Um, if I dive a little deeper, is it like a natural occurring thing? Is it a condition? Um, it's it's pretty natural, you know. It's um, it actually runs in my dad's side of the family, so it's like a genetic re um, recessive gene. That's what they call it. Um, so it kind of skips generations. So I'm like the last out of the generations to have it. So it's maybe my kids will have it, or my kids' kids. Who knows? Kids, kids, but yeah, kids. when that time comes, we will know. Um, but. My dad, um, yeah, he has like a sibling, which is his sister, has like one brown, one blue, and then oh. another one has like both brown, but then she a speck of blue. She did, you know, and when I was younger, I was like, Auntie, why do you wear so much sunglasses? At She's like, you know. when you get older, you understand, and I do understand. <laughs> yeah.